Laura Wright is here and all is well with the world Hi. now. <laughs> so did you see my message on Instagram? I didn't yet. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I said, Laura Wright, I'm running late again for the oh 30th. <laughs> Goodness, that's hilarious. I said I didn't want to break tradition. No. I'm running late again. You always stress yourself. And, and Laura, you do this on right? I do this well. on, And yeah. Laura, and I said, Laura, I know if you're watching, don't, you're going to yell at me later. He does it every year, just so you can stress yourself out and run in here like crazy. Yeah, crazy. But look, it all works out. We're, oh, here, we're together. here. We're here together. Amazing. I just have to say, and she knows this, her work this past year was phenomenal. Some of the best work Laura's ever done in her career. Oh, wow, thank you. Ever done in her career. This nomination is so deserved. I mean, you really kicked ass. Oh, you know? woo! I love that. Um, you know, it's on, it's on the page. And you know, I love what I do. And I work with such incredible people, it's hard not to. And um, I want to always entertain for the fans. I never want to let the fans down. I, I love television. I love that we get to make television. And I, I have such a passion for wanting it to be great. You know? Right. What was the part of your reel that you felt in your gut like, I really am so proud of this particular first set of scenes in my reel were with Steve Burton when I talked about a cup of coffee that um, I uh, that Sonny would make for me every morning that was perfect and and he had at that time we thought he had amnesia and he was in another town but we thought he was dead so oh that <laughs> so Carly thought he was dead and so she went on to talk about how every other cup of coffee um, her, her cup of coffee in the morning now tastes like every other cup of coffee that she makes for herself and she's reminded daily that the man she loves is dead and there were a set of scenes, like four of them, that as soon as I finished, I knew they would go on the Emmy Reel. A, there was Steve Burton, so of course, you know, I feel, I feel so free to work with Steve. Then I had some scenes when I found out Sonny wasn't dead, and I found out um, the woman who knew he was alive and kept him from me, so the moment I found out. And then I had lovely scenes with um, Sonia, who plays Epiphany on our show, about her telling me how much Jason loved me when I thought Jason was dead. So I still think he's dead. <laughs> this is the recap of the reel. <laughs> anyway, there were scenes with Epiphany where she was so lovely. And, Sonia Eddy. Sorry, yes, yeah, yeah. Sonia Eddy. The character is, is, is Epiphany. And um, it, it was just such a beautiful scene, and I made her cry, and no one gets Sonia to cry, and I said, that's going on my Emmy reel, I made you cry. So I stuck to my word, and I put that scene on my Emmy reel. And we were just talking, it's been 10... A 10 or 11 years since your last 2011 win. 2011 I won. That yeah. was for your 20 years in daytime and you and won your first Emmy yeah. and your first nomination. Yeah. yeah. So now, Cynthia Watros and you were nominated. You had the ladies lunch. Yes. Was it fun? So much fun. So great hanging out with, because you know, you never know what's going to happen tonight. It's so out of your control. So to be able to um, spend an afternoon together, raising a glass of champagne, cheering each other and honoring each other, it's, it's a beautiful tra tradition. I'm really happy about it. Right. And who, how, what does Wes have to say? Did he help you pick your reel? Um, no. <laughs> I help him with his reel, though. Um, no, I'm pretty, uh, you know, solid on... Uh, I mean, he loved it. I did send it to a friend of mine who used to edit on the show, and she gave me some notes because she's an editor, and I knew that she could tell me how to put it together. Yeah, 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 yeah. tighten it up. Because, you know, I also didn't want to give a full 15 minutes. That's a long time to ask people. Through. Well, and to sit through, like, 20 people's 15-minute reel, that's, like, it's, it's, it's awful. <laughs> what is it like for you when you're in the audience as a nominee the times you've been nominated? Is it fun or nerve-wracking? Uh, or do you just go into it like... Have no attachment to what's going to happen tonight. I really do love the experience, so I just find it all exciting. Even, you know, I've won once, but I've been nominated seven, so six times my name hasn't been called, and that's okay because when you see how happy the person is on stage accepting the Emmy, it's like it's supposed to be that way, you know? So it's perfect to me. Well, congratulations on an amazing year.